to talk yeah. about that. <laughs> and um, Maxwell Agbagba, fortunately, has taken the cameras there, so he's streaming live into the studio. Good morning to you, Maxwell. And um, what I can you saying see, there, we uh, don't good. actually get it. Okay, there. you are the house of Ebony, and um, you're sitting now yes. with some, I can see, is it the father? Just give us an introduction. Yeah, that's... Yes, Roland. Um, we are in the house of um, Ebony here. Um, a lot of people um, are gathered around, family members are all gathered around here. It's um, a sad atmosphere um, here at this place. Nobody's smiling. I mean, um, they're all mourning here. Um, but as you mentioned, I have the father with me here. Ebony's father, biological father, um, Nano Poku Kwatin, he's here uh, with us. And even though he's going through some difficult times, um, right now he has agreed to you know, talk to us. Uh, that you're welcome to join us. Thank you. Mm. At what point did you, at what time did you hear the news of the demise of your daughter? Well, uh, it was too early in the morning when I had a call that my girl, that's the queen, has had an accident somewhere there, around the Bichim, whatever, mm. and that um, he couldn't survive, and that is gone. That is all. Around four o'clock there about. Yeah. Four o'clock there. Yeah, that's right. So at what point did she leave home? Um, on what day, on which day did she leave home? Uh, and all those details you'd want to give to us. She left home on Thursday saying she was going to see the mom. Mom just returned from the United Kingdom. And she said she was going to see her. I asked if she was driving because I was scared. It was late. It was around um, ten thereabout, and she says she was going to see mom. And I say, are you driving yourself? And she says, no. My driver, my bodyguard, who is a soldier, and a friend. And I said, okay, that's fine. Take care of yourself. That's what I said. So, that is it. So that was around 10 p.m. on Thursday when that's they right. left. Here. Yeah, yeah, they left uh, very late. Okay, so they were heading to Kumasi. We are to Sunyane. To Sunyane. Yeah, the mother had, come, like I said, the mother was in, has been here since um, this, uh, now January. Yeah. And she hadn't seen her daughter. She, she wanted to see her, so she says she was going to see her mom. Mm. And um, that was the time she decided to go to see her mom. So that is it. Okay. Um, We've seen um, some pictures, you know, circulating during the rounds, and we want to use this opportunity to tell, I mean, those sharing those pictures to, um, to, to desist from that, to stop it. Um, it's heartbreaking for a lot of the people here. Uh, but have you been able to identify the other people who um, were in the picture, who we are told, are also dead? Well, I haven't heard that yet, though, but I was only told that there is this soldier who is the bodyguard, mm. and the... And the driver, and the driver, and um, a friend who returned from the United States, mm. and Ebony herself. Mm. That's all I know for now. But I'm told the driver survived. No, I wouldn't be too sure though. But I'm only told that she's hospitalized. Sorry about that. Yeah. So I don't know. Mm. I mean, in a lot of interviews, we've, um, I mean, we've heard Ebony speak so fondly, you know, of you as a father. Um, we know you're going through um, some, you know, difficult times right now. But what kind of child was she to you? That's interesting. Anyway, Embani was so amazing. Trust me, a girl you would love to have as a daughter. Mm. Amazing, like you've all known. She was so, um, she was so special, and that is the reason why she was named from day one. Ohima. Mm. So, like it is, she was so special. That's all. Mm. What was the fondest memory? I mean, fondest memories you oh, have. Yeah. A good writer. You know you have a lot. A good writer. Mm. So loving and so caring. I mean, like we've been seeing this pretty queen. Mm. So amazing. Hello. What do I have to say, my dear? I'm confused here. Hello. But trust me, Ohima was Ohima. Mm. The title bestowed mm. was the personality. We, we were picking information that she had some traveling plans. We were told that she'd be traveling she tomorrow. She was leaving on the 10th. Mm. And today's the 9th. Tell me, you telling me, my dear. She was leaving on the 10th. I have a goddamn, uh, what is it, a visa in my room as I speak with you now. She was leaving on the 10th. What, what, what was she For doing? Belgium, touring Europe for the first time. On the 10th, she was leaving, touring Europe. 
Germany, Italy, France, what have you, you name them. Mm. That is the case. Mm. So there's a visa is in the room right now, the passport is in the room. Yes, as I speak with you. Um, you know, it's, it's really difficult, but um, you know, she, she was rather getting to the peak of her career. And um, there were a lot of people who were saying that she I mean, she, 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 she was in the right place to win the Artist of the Year, I mean, in the upcoming Ghana Music Awards. I don't know if you also had such thoughts and such, you know, dream that you'd win that, you know, covetous If you ask me, award. indeed, she had already had it. The hits, her latest songs could have made her the best. So I wasn't doubting the fact that she was going to win the best. And this is the case anyway. So I believe strongly that she was going to win the best. The award, the supreme award, so to speak. So that is it, if you ask me. I knew she was going to win. Such I don't know if you have any things else you want to say to Ghanaian. Actually, for now, I don't think I have any more things. No, I have nothing to say yet, because I think that is all for, for, for this time. Maybe some other time. But for now, mourn with me. Because a real queen, an asset, a real Ghanaian stood for Ghana, a queen. Well, I'm not going to beat my chest in pride and say she was the queen if we are to say by the fact that um, dance hall is concerned but you and I know that Ebony was really a queen. So how many daughters do you have? How many children do you have? You want to share that? In totality I have three. Two girls and a guy. And she's okay. So that is it. Drop I, 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 I have three. I mean, people appreciated her crafts. You know, the, I mean, her, her style of music, her voice, her um, her ability to win the crowd over any time that she's on stage. And then there were some people also who were just passing some negative. I'm sure it got to you also as a fan. I didn't like it. You know, Ghanaians, so to speak, some are so hypocritical, you know. They like this girl, but they would hide somewhere and say bad things about the queen. But trust me, she was a region. She was. So all that they were saying and all blah, 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 well, um, it didn't push her one bit. I had encouraged her. That's what I always do. Like I said earlier, I could even choose for her what to wear. Yes. Her brand, like you all know, was very different from what we've been seeing. Uniquely, my girl was so special. And I will forever miss this girl. You were saying that there was times that you even picked. I mean, yes. what she wore to see. Yes, yes. Um, um, so when the criticism came, like when the criticism were coming, mm -hmm. did it get to you or you just told her that, look, do you just... She's a strong person that she wouldn't give a hoot about any guy that did because I was in support. I was strongly behind her. And I had given her my word that she should do what pleases her. And she was just, just doing exactly. We want to say a big thank you for agreeing to talk, uh, for agreeing to, talk to us uh, right now. Um, as Echo, you know, it's a difficult time um, for um, a lot of the family members, you know, gathered here. Um, a lot of them are grieving. Uh, we are all mourning. I mean, Ghana is actually mourning. For a lot of millennials, I mean, um, they know her songs A to Z. There are times that you come across, I mean, kids age five years they'll be able to sing her lyrics from a to z her latest mom michelle for instance and condemning domestic abuse was amazing